Hello, my name is Dr. Yvonne Murray Larian, and I am so excited to dig deeper into your self awareness skills and how these skills relate to your social emotional wellness. So let's get started digging deeper. So, understand means in the CSS framework to know more details to dig deeper, to get to the root level, the cause about how something works. And it is aligned with the self-awareness skills that we talked about in plot one. We talked about recognizing is also aligned to self-awareness skills, but the difference is that recognizing your self-awareness skills is more about identifying, listing, acknowledging, admitting. But when you come to the plot number two, understand is still aligned to self-awareness skills, but you're going deeper. And so here we have uh, the roots and fruits of social emotional wellness. And we see here at the root, there are the five, these are the five core social emotional skills. We're focusing today on self-awareness skills. And you will find these skills in varying gradations, I should say, varying levels, varying amounts in children, tweens, teens, youth, adults, elderly are all embedded in multiple settings at the same time. And so you have home, school, community, and work. And from these seeds or roots, we see individuals in their diverse settings across the lifespan having fruits that are showing up as academic fruit, physical, psychological, relational, professional, cognitive, spiritual, and personal. So those are some of the fruits that you come about having as a result of of these five social emotional skills. And so as we see in daily life, in your daily life, you are always engaged or engaging in social emotional skills. And so, so for self-awareness, we have, well, who am I? That's a self-awareness question. You're trying to recognize and understand. You're trying to list who you are and acknowledge and admit to who you are. At the same time, you're also trying to understand, go deeper. You're trying to dig deeper into who who are you? Not just the role that you play, not just the activities that you do, not just being a mom, a dad, or whatever, but who am I? What are my mindsets? What are my ambitions? What types of relationships do I have? What's my knowledge? What do I need to know to be my best self? What are my emotions, right? What are some of the emotions that I experience on a regular basis? Resources. What resources do you have available? to you and what resources are you lacking that you need and then we have skills and strategies what are your skills and strategies that you bring to the table whichever table in whatever setting that you're in okay so that one question who am i you can use it on the plot one level recognize where you list and you can also use that question on the plot two which is understand where you're digging deeper you're going to the root so understand and same definition as we used in plot one, where we talked about recognizing. Self-awareness is the ability to recognize and understand your thoughts, your interactions, your mindsets, and your emotions. As you honestly evaluate the strengths and weaknesses, you're looking to see the relationship between your thoughts, your interactions, mindsets, and emotions, and the impact that these have, the impact that your time, thoughts, interactions, mindsets, emotions have on each other and on yourself. So as you engage with yourself and your memorizer or any other person who you are interested in supporting, you want to first of all ask yourself in this step, what do I know about the beginnings of my story? And when the story started, when this particular story started, who were the people that were a part of this story? And what thoughts do you have concerning this story? What are your thoughts? You know, many times we always want to know what other people are thinking about us. It's now time to look at what you are thinking about you. All right, so we're going to go to understanding your interactions. So these are the very systematic steps and systematic questions that you 
you would ask yourself to help you dig deeper, to help you move from inter and intrapersonal imbalance to inter and intrapersonal balance and from unconscious living to conscious living as you problem solve. And so understanding your interactions, do you understand how it affects your relationships? Do you understand how your interactions, your behaviors, your actions affects your relationships, right? Remember, we're digging deeper. So it may be a little uncomfortable. It may be a little uncomfortable, but it's important for us to dig deeper because until we know what's at the root, okay, until we're able to recognize and then understand, we cannot successfully manage, right? So how are you behaving? What activities are you engaging in? Are these behaviors helpful or harmful? And we want to understand your mindset. You want to understand your mindset. What do you think about people with this type of story? What do you think about people who have a similar story to yours, where there's a common theme? What are your thoughts about that? And remember, your thoughts make up your mindset. So we want to understand now our emotions. Do you understand the feelings that are associated with your story. Have you experienced these emotions before? When? What story was occurring when this was these emotions were coming up for you? What were your feelings at the time? And who were the people around you? Do you remember the smells and the sights and the sounds and the feeling, the texture of anything that was around you? Do you remember all of these things helping you to bring back, to dig deeper as you understand your thoughts and your interactions? interactions and your mindsets and your emotions. And so we're going to go now to our next segment in module two.